All right, you asked about my massive action days, and so I wanted to talk to you for a few minutes about that. So I got the concept from Darren Hardy. He's one of my favorite personal development people. And he's the author of Compound Effect, and then he has Darren Dailies that are really awesome. You can subscribe to them, and they're just short little personal development videos that um, I watch like first thing in the morning while I'm in the bathroom. Yeah, I know, sorry, TMI. But um, they're golden, and pretty much he has one day a month, he has this massive action day where he'll get up at like 2 or 3 a.m. and just crank out like a ton of work because he gets like four hours of work before getting up for a normal work day. And so for me, like as a mom, I feel like that, I'm like, is that uh, like realistic? Can I do that? And so I tried it once and it didn't go over too well with um, like taking care of the kids and stuff. If I could do it on a Saturday and then take a nap afterwards, that would work. So I thought, well, how can I implement this into my life? And I had been telling myself, I just need like one more week in the month and then I could have uh, more success with Success Club and getting coaches and stuff. And I thought, well... I can get that, I just have to find it and make it happen. So for me, I wasn't working on Saturdays. I was taking Saturdays and Sundays off, so I started doing it on Saturdays or doing an extra power hour on Saturday. So then I have my massive action days on Saturday. So I, ha I base it off of when I'm gonna do my challenge groups. Um, so it depends on the week, but I pretty much follow the same schedule of, um, I add people to my network. And if you're focused on doing one task, you can just get so much more accomplished. Um, like when I make my kids lunches in the morning, I make more than one sandwich because it just makes sense. You have all the stuff out, and then you don't get like a million knives dirty and you can like just put them in containers and put them in the fridge and then they're easy to grab because you're like focused and you're doing it and you stay on task. And so the same thing, I add people to my network instead of switching from the different um, categories of the Power of Three tracker. And so add to my network one week for like an hour or two, just like crank them out. And then the next week I will build relationships. Like all I'm doing is like messaging people, um, posting on their walls, liking all their stuff. I'm a comment girl, likes don't get as much like people, I don't even look at my likes, honestly, unless I'm seeing if somebody wants me to contact them um, for a post. But um, comment on their posts and um, work from a list. And so I just like, you know, do that, especially right before I'm going to send invites because then you're building relationships. And then the next week, I send out a ton of invites. And this has also helped me. I also do those things throughout the week in my power hour, but I feel like this massive action helps me because I stay focused and then it gives me big numbers to work with, um, with with each step. So then I have a list of people I can invite based off of the people I've been building a relationship with. And then um, I have my follow-ups. And so it just goes like that. Add people, build relationships, invite follow-ups. So it just depends on when I'm going to start my challenge group for when I decide to do those, but that's all it is. And I just am real focused on those things. I just do one thing, but I do that once a week. So I do the regular power hour, um, once or twice a day, depending on what my goals are. And then I just do this massive action day. And it's really good because you just, you're really focused and you can get just so much done because you don't have to switch gears. Um, so I really like it. It really works really well for me. Uh, and I like that schedule because I feel like it kind of coincides with the month. And um, I also like it to line up where I'm sending invites like the first week of the month because then I'm hitting success club within the first or second week of the month. And then if I hit extra, it's just fun. <laughs> so then I focus on like adding coaches and stuff with those. So invites is uh, either to challenge group or to the coaching opportunity. And I also coincide the coaching opportunity events that I host once a month um, with my invites and building relationships. So like I have a business schedule. I just schedule out my month when I'm gonna do everything. I let my team know too so that they can um, get in on it. If you don't have like a team, then um, you can still post about it and be like, my team and I get up with a success partner, have them add their coaches, get into a success pod of people that are around the same place as you. You can even ask um, other coaches to host it with you. Um, Mike is really awesome about always having a coaching opportunity that you can invite to. Um, so that's how I do it. That's how I do my schedule. Um, and then it's pretty easy to see like number wise. Also, like if I wanna hit Success Club 10, uh, or uh, yeah, so say I want to hit Success Club 10. That means that for my massive action day, I usually am contacting like 50 people, messaging 50 people, inviting 50 people. Um, 
because then you're inviting 50 people, you'll probably get about five challengers from that. At least that's what I do. That's like my numbers. Um, a little less than that in December. <laughs> uh, but I still hit Success Club 14 in December. So um, it's a numbers game. If you put the numbers in, the more people you're connecting with, the more people you can help. Um, that's all it comes down to. So if you have any more questions, let me know. And let me know if you do this. I want to see if it works for anyone else.